everybody, it's Mara Allard of Wind, Water, and Wisdom, and I'm not sure if I've ever shared this practice in a video. I know I've shared it with lots of people individually, but we can all benefit from this. So this is a practice if you have a difficult relationship with anybody, friend, family, loved one, or someone who's passed that you didn't reconcile differences with. Say you have a child you're not speaking to, or a parent you're not speaking to, or they passed and you never resolve those issues. Say you have a coworker you're struggling with, or a good friend. We all go through periods where relationships are strained for one reason or the other, and simply, sometimes we don't know what to do. And there isn't much we can do sometimes, because time is what is what is needed a lot of times, is time for the process to move forward or heal itself. But during that time when you're waiting for something to resolve, what can you do? And in some cases it will never resolve. I don't wanna give false hope, but um, in my experience over time, a lot, of, a lot of wounds do get repaired. Not all, but a lot of them do. But one way to give yourself comfort and to be doing a positive um, practice is actually sending love to the person you're estranged from at this point or having a difficult time with is to find a picture of them. Um, so if you don't have one, you this day and age of social media, you might be able to find one online. Um, if it's a child or family member, if you have a picture of you and them together, that's good too. Like let's just say, for example, this is a picture of me and my son's years ago in New York City. I could use this if I wanted to send love to one of my sons, both of my sons. And the simple practice is take this picture that you have, put it somewhere. Um, I'll give you some feng shui suggestions too, but put it somewhere that you can see it and easily get to every day. Light a candle. I choose red because red is fire and it means love and it's about relationship, but any candle will do. I don't want us to get hung up on it has to be perfect because there is no perfection. We need to let go of all of this perfection. So any old candle will do. If you don't have a candle, get a lighter. I don't want us to make this complicated. I choose red because red means love and red is a relationship color and I feel energy and vibrations, but you can do any color. Simply set your picture someplace and place the candle in front of it. And then take a few minutes and some deep breaths. You can either put your hands over your heart or you don't have to, again. And just think of that person with as much love as you can muster. You can't muster love, kindness, compassion, empathy, any emotion that's positive that you can send. When you put your attention on anything, I don't care if it's, uh, you know, a card, you know, your attention is automatic, your energy is already on that object. So as soon as you are putting your attention on that person, your energy is already connected to them. They don't probably feel it, but it is. I mean, if you watch my biogeometry videos, you know this is true. What we focus our energy on, it goes to, it actually is there before it even registers. So if you're putting your thoughts of this person in your head, your energy is already reaching out to them. And then you simply thinking love. People are like, how do I send love? You think loving thoughts. Think of a time in your life that was joyous with them. Send them joy, send them happiness, send them love. Send them healing. Send them with every emotion you feel that is a positive emotion that you can send. And when I mean sending, you just have to think of it. You don't have to be like physically beaming it out of your body. Recognizing that emotion. And all you have to do is bring up a memory to get that emotion. All you need, excuse me, all you need is a memory. And if you wanted to use feng shui, there are three places in your house you could place this picture. If you wanted to place it in the relationship gua, that's when you walk in the front door and the very far right corner of your house. If you wanted to place it in the children gua, far, well, middle right, so walk through the front door, middle right of the house. If you wanted to place it in the family sector, walk in the door, middle left. So those would be the three sectors if you wanted to place a picture in that area of your house. And then a candle every day, or when you think of it, stop, spend just a minute or two, light a candle, pause. Bring in that emotion you want to send. Think of that person and you've already sent it. You are doing an act for both of you, an act of kindness and love for both of you. It is healing in its own way. So I wanted to share that today. Have a great day.